This is Twit. Slack. Salesforce. This is a big deal. Twenty-seven and a half billion dollars. Salesforce is going to pay. I think it's a half stock, half cash deal. Uh, Stuart Butterfield, another big payday. He sold Flickr to, was it Yahoo? I guess it was Yahoo. He sold Flickr Yahoo to. Yahoo for forty mil. For forty mil. And and some of the investors were unhappy with him that that was too they, that he sold too soon. Yeah. But he said um, he and Katarina Fake when they were married said it was a life changing amount of money. It and was. You're, you're only going to have one chance in life to get that yeah. much money. Well, he got a se yeah. <laughs> second chance. You know. You know yeah. what's. You know what's right. You know what's a life changing amount of money. Twenty seven and a half billion dollars. Billion dollars. That's a mm. life mm. life changing mm. amount. I wish of money. they'd put out the cap tables on these stories so you have some idea of of who's making what out of this. Oh well, yeah, they don't want to tell people that. Nobody it's wants a public company. to know that. Oh, so. Slack. If Slack's public, they've got a cap table that'll be in their um, proxy statement. In their uh, yep. fifteen. What is it? Uh, what is that SEC filing? Every year you do one. The ten Q or no? Ten K or it's the prox. It's the proxy. It's a. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, I know what you no mean. Idea. Um, they exist. No idea. Yes. Uh, twenty-seven. Actually, it's twenty-seven point seven billion, according to the yeah, Associated you, you Press. Rounded down, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's a couple hundred million between friends, really? Uh, <laughs> 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 um, that's. I honestly think that feels like too much. But you know, obviously, uh, Salesforce. Uh, you know, Mark Benioff's no fool. If he's if he's willing to pay that much, well, it is more than it, it was its current stock price. What Much more, but the, the, but the argument is here? they they went down. Um, there was Microsoft was seen as a huge competitor, right? Team, Microsoft Teams, and and they were the ones that didn't really advance in COVID, though they, I think they should have, but for various reasons. Yeah. So you could argue that they were underpriced in the market, uh, or I would argue that while Zoom and Teams capitalized on the work from home trend over the last nine months. Slack seems to have done the opposite. There's some evidence that their monthly active users went down. And I figured I, it would have been just plateaued because it seems like the whole Slack platform is is a little niche. -y, niche well, that's still an opportunity Mitch missed when Zoom is through the roof uh, and yeah. Teams is through the roof. And and the reason I think Slack might have gone down is because they did not would not reveal their numbers. Uh, uh, in, okay. in the face of Microsoft every month saying, and now another 40 million, another 40 million. So um, well, I'm, I'm wondering. Slack didn't have video either. Oh, I guess I'm frozen for a while. Um, so <laughs> without video, I think everybody who came into the pandemic wanting to like see people face to face, they chose these other platforms. And people might actually use Teams and Zoom and Slack. That's not crazy. Um, because they, yeah. in many people's minds, they serve different pur purposes. Yeah. Um, Salesforce cites the success of past acquisitions as key decision to buy Slack. This is from CBS Market Watch. Um, th they say that we did so well. What did they buy? What did they buy before? Tableau was uh, Salesforce's largest acquisition at fifteen point seven billion. That was. In 2019, MuleSoft 6.5 billion in 2018. Mark Benioff said, "When you look at what we've learned, our ability to integrate companies—that's a big deal, by the way." Apple has said, "We don't acquire big companies because we feel like it's too hard to integrate two big teams, and we don't want to change our company culture." So maybe mm -hmm. Salesforce has figured this out. Our ability to integrate companies to make one plus one equal three. We look at this and we say, wow, this is a game changer and we know how to pull it off. And we have a lot of our former executives, for example, at Slack already. So we know a lot of those players. So maybe they do have a better idea as uh, what's going on inside of Slack than obviously than, than we do. And they're not telling people uh, what's happening to their user base. One, one thing I've noticed, we use Slack. We're a Slack uh, company. Is mm -hmm. it's very hard to change once you use something. It's it's not a thing that companies regularly say. Oh, there's something better. Let's try that. So if you already are decided on Slack, it's unlikely that you would just say, "Hey, we should just try Teams," unless I don't know. Maybe the CFO is going to say to you, 
hey, um, you know, we're paying Mike for Microsoft 365. Teams Inc. is included in that. Why are we paying extra for Slack? We should just be using Teams. Teams is also, we, we looked at Teams when we left uh, HipChat. HipChat got sold when we let, looked at leaving HipChat. We looked at Teams and Slack, and we chose Slack because it had the integrations we needed with things like Panopta, our server monitoring software and stuff like that. And at the time, Teams didn't. But over, over the couple of years since then, uh, Teams has come on strong with that. But wouldn't Active Directory play a big part in that as well? Absolutely. If you're a Microsoft house, but see, we're not. Yeah. So uh, you're right. That's 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 who's going to use Teams. Uh, the other thing that Salesforce gets, remember Salesforce wanted to buy LinkedIn and was really upset when Microsoft bought LinkedIn. They said, oh, yeah. Microsoft's going to use all that information they get from LinkedIn anti-competitively. Yeah, anti and, uh, and that's one of the reasons a company like Salesforce buys Slack is... Now they've got a uh, you know a foot in the door for a, from a lot of new companies perhaps that they didn't before plus data that they didn't have before so I you know I'm sure Mark Benioff knows it's worth that much but boy that's an awful lot. So it was funny I got the daily uh, strategy and um, Ben warned at the top this is a long one when he warns it's long yeah it's long boy um, it's gonna be it's but, gonna be epic <laughs> it's gonna be good. But he said, um, you know, Brett Taylor, who's the COO, who's really smart, really good. And this is, this is kind of can't, but he talked about how it's the operating system for the new way to work. There's some truth to that. How people co collaborate. You know, Slack did, did uh, pioneer that and Salesforce's resources. Uh, now, what Ben proposes is that Slack is that like a company like YouTube was trying to charge before Google bought it, uh, Slack's been trying to charge. Uh, he says that Salesforce should just make it free and addict everybody to it, and then it's the it's the glide path into Salesforce. That certainly. But it doesn't make sense. I mean, people who had no business or need using sale to use Salesforce use Slack. So, and I think there is still demand for it. I mean, we we went from Socialcast. So y'all were on HipChat, we were on Socialcast, and then that got bought and killed. So then we switched to Slack. Um, and, and it became our like communication platform, but I don't see it being an entry way to Salesforce for a lot of organizations because you're already on Salesforce if that's something that's appealing to you. And if it's, if you're not on Salesforce, you probably don't need to be on Salesforce. Right, right. Yeah, though, Stacey, the thing is, I find there's funny uses of Salesforce these days is that uh, uh, newspapers are using it as a CRM for not their, just their ad customers, but their readers. Yeah, and no, that's not I how mean, it was intended to be used at some point. I, yeah. I was like, I've got so many CRM yeah, companies I, I pitching you. me right now. I'm like, eh. It's a hot category, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, we actually, we well, use Salesforce, ironically. Money. We use Salesforce and Slack. So maybe this will be good for us.